Hey, welcome again to the Corona Shell. I'm Dr. Vuk. Dr. Axe here. And uh, so today we want to talk about what is coronavirus. Yep. So we're going to be covering what is coronavirus, uh, what is a virus, and how your body needs to fight it, and why there's really no cure for this thing, and there'll yeah. never be a cure yeah. for any kind of virus. And then uh, Dr. Axe is going to share a few antiviral yeah. tips to yeah. help you. Uh, Get out know, on the boat. That's a great way to boost your immune system. <laughs> And fight infections right now, right? Yeah, get getting out, getting outside, having fun. Everyone's laughing. saying stay inside. You got to get outside though yeah. to get healthy. Yeah. Yes. I'm jealous of that guy right now. I anyway, know. back to it. He's chilling. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I know, right? We're gonna be doing that soon. <laughs> yeah. So to kind of like start us off here, uh, what is the coronavirus actually? Well, it's just a form of um, it's pneumonia-like. Some experts say it is pneumonia. Others say it's pneumonia-like. But I was listening to a little segment this morning actually in. The Chinese uh, uh, pathologists studied, they did a bunch of autopsies and discovered that the reason it kills people is this virus clogs people's lungs up with oh, wow. thick mucus and stuff. Yeah. So they're saying you have to keep your lung airways clear, so getting outside, getting air. But they said uh, actually what you have to do to prevent it is drink hot liquids. So you got some hot coffee here, things to keep the lungs, the airways G hot. Ginger tea, hot ginger tea would be amazing. Ginger tea, exactly. Yeah. We should make some of that. Yeah, I wonder if everyone that's on their deathbed, if they had started drinking ginger yeah. tea, what would that do to the death rate? By itself, just ginger. Just by itself, because ginger is extremely antiviral. Yeah, So I mean half of these cases, a fourth, I don't know, making up numbers, might have been preserved just by hot getting the the mucus breaking down viruses with ginger with ginger i agree yeah. and that's what the chinese do with, with yeah. ginger so i mean really um so to kind of kind of summarize like the coronavirus all it is is a bad form of pneumonia and there's are things you can do to fight viruses but so so why don't antivirals work and what yeah. do you have to do to actually fight a virus yeah and here's the thing like antibiotics is, there's a bacteria and the antibiotic kills the bacteria. Antiviral, those things actually go into your cell, change the DNA, replicate, and it the just- The virus does. Yeah, and then it just explodes, okay? So it kind of like hacks your body. Yeah, it takes your own body and replicates, okay? Okay. So your immune system is the only thing that can fight it. And that's why- Oh, wow. So when, if you have a vaccine, so it takes, a new virus takes a long time for your body to fight because your body has to figure out what it is. So here's how it works. And then the immune system says, okay, I have a plan. I know how to kill it now. Then your immune system builds up and attacks. Okay. But now the theory behind vaccines is it pre-programs into your body what that virus is. So it's pre-prepared to fight it. So it kind of okay. ha has like a memory that this has been here before and it yeah. knows how to defeat it. And if you have a memory of it, you're, you know what to do ahead of time. So okay. That's the theory behind vaccines, even though I'm not necessarily an like, like a bad ex-girlfriend. You smell the same perfume. You, you know run. it's coming. You, you know get, how to, exactly. You get out of there. That's a good analogy. All right, all right. So, but the thing is, even with any of these medications, vaccines, they're not treating the virus. Your body is. Oh, really? Yeah, there's nothing you can take to just directly, effectively kill a virus. Basically, you're mm. just giving your, your immune system a memory. You're helping your immune system to do what it's already going to do. In the first and place. that's why they have no treatment right now. Because there is no treatment. There never will be any treatment for viruses. Okay? So people that are hoping and waiting wow. for something to come out, y your body has to do it. Okay? Yeah. And so that's why the viruses, it's such a problem. Whereas if this was a bacteria, we, you know we'd flush it out with antibiotics. So your body is the only thing that can fight this thing. So so yeah. you have to, to boost your immune system. Exactly. What are what are like three foods or just things yeah. that people can do to, to, yeah. to bolster their bodies against viruses? First of all, vitamin C increases your white blood cells. White blood cells are oh, wow. actually the part of your, your lymphocytes, monocytes. Those are what kill viruses. Oh, okay. really? And by taking vitamin C, it increases. So our citrus fruits, which we talked about last, last time, lemons, limes, oranges, grapefruit, high in vitamin C. Awesome. Red, red bell peppers, high in vitamin C. Really? Yeah. Okay. So as far as foods, things high in vitamin C are going to be the best thing. To Broccoli? Eat. Yeah. Cruciferous vegetables are um, the things that makes them like tart. If you, you know, eat something raw, a cruciferous vegetable, the sulfur veins found in them, the chemicals that make them tart or kind of have a bite is the same thing that kills viruses and pathogens. 
Oh, so when you have like um like a spicy like a radish or yeah. something like that that burns, that's actually gonna Good. kill viruses. That spice is what kills viruses. Oh wow, that's isn't awesome. it amazing the, the way that God created us? Yeah, it made us our food as our medicine. Yeah. So and then yeah. also like I know you said this before a lot, but getting outside and getting sunlight, vitamin D. Just the sunlight alone, uh, like 20, yeah. I think it's 20 minutes yeah. you need a day. So everyone's worried staying inside. You have to get outside to get sunlight, go in your backyard. Yeah. yeah. And if you live in a crappy state that it doesn't shine, yeah. th this is a sign, take this as a warning sign, you need to move because yeah. your life probably sucks. Yeah, they, they declare this a war, a war. In a war, do you say, hey, let me just go hide in the castle? <laughs> No, you get the you get your people together, you get strong, and you go fight. You get out there. It's a war. We have to fight. We can't just no. Nah, let me wash my hands and just uh, just curtail in the corner. No, you got to get your immune system up. Get your That's immune system up. This is a war. This is a battle, and we have to start fighting. All right. So we we, we know that coronavirus is basically just like pneumonia. Okay. So just uh, the only people who get pneumonia are sick people, anyways. So stay healthy, uh, do these things to boost your, uh, bolster your immune system. The last thing I want to say, because people I think get edgy about, hey, only sick people, but I have young people getting it. There's a lot of people that think they're healthy, they're not healthy. That's so if true. If you're 100% healthy, you cannot get sick by definition. No one's 100% healthy, right? It's just impossible. Nobody. But technically, if you were, your body would be so strong, like you can't get sick necessarily. So, yeah, that's true. So again, I was, 16 years old and sick as can be and I look like health I played three sports everyone said you're hundred percent healthy I was not so this whole they were really healthy they got sick thing I'm not buying it that's a I'm not buying it. <laughs> it's a farce yeah it doesn't happen yeah again I was 16 and healthy and I got sick all the time it's actually true I remember that yeah <laughs> you're always sick dude so anyways I wanted to cover you up on that on that statement yes so, okay so yeah. eat your citrus get healthy and then also get outside um, and then the things you know, people will say like, we'll take Tamiflu or something like this. Yeah. You already covered this, but those things only suppress symptoms. So these are real solutions. So we're gonna be hitting you with something every single day to educate you and the people that you love. Share this with them so they actually yeah. know how to like If everyone in America watched this information this. and implemented what we're talking about. It would disappear. Yeah, I'm, I'm serious. Oh yeah. It's that, I mean, we can fight this thing. Yeah, it's not just some random, you know, obviously pray to God, we believe in God, but like you can't just passively pray and just hope, yeah. you know, you got you have to be smart. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So Agreed. <laughs> awesome. Thanks guys. We'll uh we'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy.